Good morning, Philippines. And hey, guys, like a lot of you, I don't like guys who hit women, who downgrade women, or abuse them, and who exploit them. And brought to my attention through his own admissions that this guy named Kevin, with too much time on my hands, who in my view, is just another predator, the kinds I used to watch out for in Thailand. Have a listen and tell me what you think. Okay, first off, let me make a little uh, disclaimer here. Um, um, about a year ago, I did an interview with a guy who has his own site called Every Man Has a Story, and I asked him to kindly remove it when it came to my attention that, in my view, he's a predator and uh, abusive, and it was, it was proven to be true and he beat up a handicapped man and threw another one out of a handicapped stall and he, it's all about him and his name is Mark Thornton I'm sure you've heard of him before and I've got videos here explaining exactly why I think he's a predator so when uh, it came to my attention this uh, other blogger that came to the Philippines uh, I didn't really think much of it and then I noticed that He's living in the same compound as Mark Thornton, that they're neighbors and they're friends and they're buddies, and that just set off a whole kind of red flags. Now, years ago, some of you may know that I, I built a school for girls and boys to get away from drugs, alcohol, and prostitution in Thailand. And uh, uh, I did this because in my visit there, I was disgusted with the amount of expats that were exploiting the locals. And the same thing goes on here in the Philippines, far too frequently. So, anyway, recently, uh, Kevin came up with his own video full of excuses, uh, not leaving any space for comments. There's no comments allowed on his video where he makes his excuses that he wanted to take a month off uh, to take a break from him and Jenilin. Well, anybody who knows a Filipina, that's a no-fly zone. Filipinos, they attach themselves, and they attach themselves solid. When you say you're going to disappear for a month, you might as well just rip her heart out and throw it on the floor. But that being said, the warning signals were given out months ago. About seven months ago, uh, Kevin announced that he was going to take a trip to Puerto Rico for tax purposes. Uh, that was his excuse anyway, and I think... Uh, that probably fanned the uh, fanned the fears and doubt that poor Jenlin had to deal with. Now she's 23 and he's 58, and yeah, he put a video out about him celebrating his 58th birthday. But I don't, I never saw a video of him celebrating her birthday, and they've been together for over a year. But he's used her in every one of his videos. Um, where she's like a unpaid model and the hook that he got onto her was that he was going to teach her how to do uh, day trading and make a fortune and at the end of his video you'll see he bribes her with 300 310,000 pesos leaves the cash out on the table like he's trying to impress somebody anybody who knows a filipina that uh, has some kind of pride uh, she would probably be really disgusted and embarrassed by such a display, like she's been paid for, bought and paid for, and it's disgusting. So, Kevin, shame on you for putting out a video uh, dissing your girlfriend. You should have just shut up and taken your lumps like the rest of us men. But I can understand you living in the same combat with Mark Thornton, it's all about you and a couple of narcissists you you two would do well to buddy up together but anyway uh, not only did uh, Kevin drag uh, Jenlin's uh, name through the mud in claiming that she was 
going online claiming she's single so that she could get after some simps who might send her some money. You know, man, if you're not in the picture, get out of the picture and let the girl lead her life. You don't know what she's going to do, but obviously you've hurt her enormously and you don't deserve a woman like that. And for you to claim that she's immature because she won't settle down. If you're having a relationship with a Filipina and she doesn't have an engagement ring on her finger and a date in the, her calendar, then you're just messing around and you don't deserve her. So take off to Thailand or places unknown and uh, I hope that uh, her complaint to immigration does work because in my view, yes, you are a predator and to display a bunch of cash on there on the table like, here baby, here's your hush money, don't go to immigration. Um, that's the subtext I got. And so, yeah, you know me, well, I don't bother good people. There's there's good Texans like the Texan, Texas Filipino, but this guy, I think he's from Texas. He had a camper that's for sale in Texas. Um, got no use for him. Uh, bad news all around. So anyway, that's my opinion. What's yours? Uh, it, has Kevin been poorly misjudged? I don't think so for a minute. Um, and if you watch any of his videos, uh, the poor girl, the way he talks to her, uh, as a, like a piece of meat when she's in the swimming pool, he makes comments about guys walking into walls and uh, they're falling all over themselves for her. Like, look at me, Iron I a lucky guy. Well, yeah, you are a lucky guy. Too lucky for your own good. She deserves better. So, Jalen, my heart goes out to you, dear. I hope you find peace and happiness and the true love of your life. Kevin obviously is a creep who doesn't deserve a good woman like you. So that's it. Uh, and for the rest of you, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so I can give you some more interesting novel and um, unique points of views on the Philippines, Southeast Asia, and life in general. This is Phil Cartmel signing off. Don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.